Wow, this is getting very furry, like very fast. It's looking very warm, like. Hello, hello, my name is Shay and I like to make things. And this time we're going a little goofy. We're just having fun. And I'm making a life-size worm on a string fursuit. <laughs> I don't mean like a dress with a bunch of worms on a string on it or anything remotely practical. This is a giant worm suit where you are the worm and that's the concept giant worm with legs it's purely ridiculous but it's a lot of fun and if you're asking why in the world am i making a giant worm suit well a bit of backstory three years ago my friends and i went to katsucon for the first time it's this giant anime convention in maryland so i kind of proposed jokingly like hey well, what if we cosplayed worms on a string and then that turned into us making three full worm fur suits and legitimately having one of the best times ever <laughs> you might have seen some of these videos on Online. I posted our worm suits and they went viral on TikTok. So many people saw me dancing around a stripper pole as a worm. To this day, it is probably one of my favorite costumes that I've made. And we are headed back to KatsuCon for the second time. And of course, if we're going to KatsuCon again, we've got a worm again. And this time around, we convinced all of our friends to worm with us. So there's gonna be eight little worms running around. I'm so excited. <laughs> And I figured since I was gonna be making more worm suits anyway, I might as well make a tutorial and tell you all how to make your own worm suit. Because surprisingly, this is a very easy costume to make. You can make it with no sewing skills. You probably don't even need a sewing machine. But with all that said, let's get worming. For this costume, I looked into how fursuits were made. I'm not saying this is a fursuit. I haven't accepted within myself that I've made a fursuit, but it's definitely furry adjacent. So essentially when fursuiters are making their costumes, they'll build the base structure out of foam to give it that shape, and then they'll cover that foam structure in fur to give it the nice pretty look. The other thing fursuiters will do is instead of making it all one piece, they'll make multiple pieces. So they'll have little paws, little heads, it'll all be separate so that it's easier to put on, take off, and easier to clean. The more I talk about this, the more I can't deny that I am making a fursuit. <laughs> Yes, this is a ridiculous project, but I also want to take it seriously so it looks nice. Where even if it is a stupid project, you have to like look at it and be like, okay, it's stupid, but they did a good job. <laughs> That's the goal. So the first step to making the worm suits was to block out the basic shapes in foam. This is very furry adjacent. <laughs> like I cannot just... We really want to try and achieve an elongated shape. And I didn't want this worm suit to just be something that you had a worm attached to you. I wanted the suit so you were the worm. The worm would essentially be your head and your torso and it goes off to a tail. And that way you could have a couple human legs sticking out the bottom. So we match our concept, worm with legs. So we've got the basic idea of how these worm suits work. Let's pick up our supplies. I headed to the LA Fashion District to buy my fabric since it's a bit cheaper there. We got a roll of upholstery foam, two yards of fur, giant six inch googly eyes, and then a couple basic things I already had at home like hot glue and elastic. So let's get worming. I'm gonna make my base structure out of, oh, out of foam. It's nothing too fancy. I feel like the more that I make this tutorial, the more you will see just how chaotic this entire process is. There is no plan. I just kind of put shapes together. Let's start cutting. So I actually don't have that much foam. I'll use half of it for the tail and then save the other half to use for the head bit. I'm gonna draw a triangle that's pretty big and it's gonna be more tail base. Cause I think I almost want it to be the full length. Cause we really want that like dinosaur elongation. Yeah, that looks about right. It's a worm. This is all a gastination. And now we cut. The easiest way to cut foam is with one of these X-Acto blades. Just make sure you have a cutting mat under so you don't cut your floors. Because I didn't really measure this super exact, I don't have to worry about cutting it super exact. That's our tail. Not gonna lie, it's kind of long. So it's a little unmanageable. So I think I'm gonna chop off a couple inches. There's no exact science to this. We're just kind of going by feel. That's kind of the shape we want. That's the tail we're going for. This is what the pattern piece looks like. These are the measurements in case you wanna make your own. I also want the tail to have a bit more of a curve shape so it really curves over. So I'm honestly just gonna wrap some string around it and tie it so it stays curved. There's probably better ways to do this but the thought process behind this costume is quick, easy, and cheap. And string is all of that. And now he's all tied up and he's got a bit more of a worm-like shape to him. Isn't that a lovely little worm tail? Wow, this is getting very furry, like very fast. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> 
So we got the foam base for the tail. Next up, we need the foam base for the head. So to get the worm shape, we're trying to just elongate our body into one continuous worm-like line. If you look at the worms on the string, they're very conical. And if you break them down to the simple shapes, it's almost as if you took a party hat and stuck a long nose tube on it. And that's kind of the shape of their little face and snout. So I'm gonna cut a half circle out of foam and just use hot glue to connect the edges and turn it into a little party hat shape. Is it the most sophisticated concept? No, but it will create that very nice elongated worm line. And that's all we really care about. And then for the snout, I'm just rolling a tube of foam. And again, just like with the tail, I'm gonna be using string to secure it and keep it in its shape. And that's the snout. And then we just attach them. I just stuff it in here like that. And then we're gonna secure it with a little more hot glue because why not? I'm also using strips of fabric to support the glued edge and get it to stick a bit better and be a bit sturdier. To get it to stay on our heads, we're going the party hat method. And that basically means we're adding a little elastic chin strap. And I'm honestly not even gonna glue or sew this. I'm just gonna go and tie it to the foam. And that's our worm headpiece. Honestly, it's still a little bit unstable. So I'm gonna add a little bit of foam in the party hat to secure my head. Once I add that, it should fit a lot better. Um, so just a little bit more foam in there. Hello! So it's actually about two days later. I procrastinated, I didn't worm. Now I've got about five hours to finish this worm. So let's get worming. So I've got the base step, it's looking very like wormish. And all that's really left to do is cover it all in fur. This is very like guesstimating. That's about as much as I need to cover the tail, but then I also wanted to cover this part of the tail. I need like that much for the tail. Now we cut. There's a special technique that makes cutting fur way easier. You're gonna wanna cut on the back of the fur using a blade rather than scissors. You don't wanna go and trim all the little hairs. You just want the pieces to separate. So I'm taking the tail piece and just wrapping it in fur. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even feel like sewing this one right now. I am just safety pinning up the sides. That is our completed tail. And in order to attach the tail to my waist, I'm just gonna stick it on a fanny pack. Essentially, I'm just using it like a belt. I'm literally just gonna safety pin my fanny pack into the tail. And then when I buckle my fanny pack on my bum, I got a whole tail. That's really all there is to the tail. Ah. It's gonna look a lot better with the rest of the costume, but like you see the vision. Worm. Now I'm just gonna make the torso. The body of the worm is literally just a tube. So to make it, I'm just cutting a rectangle in the fabric, sewing it up, and then we've got a tube. So, looking very worm-like. Last thing we need is the head. For the head, I'm just covering the foam base in fur. The nice thing about fur is it blends super well together, so you can kind of jigsaw pieces together with different scraps and not have to worry too much about it because the pieces just blend together when you brush it out. I don't know if furries do this by like sewing. I don't have the time or patience for that. This is all hot glue. Me and my little hot glue gun are gonna glue all this fur down. And that is our final worm head. It's looking pretty wormy. And then the eyes will just pop on right there. Just like that. And then he's got a little face. All right, let's try it all on. It looks kind of silly standing up, but then you, it really like reads as a worm. But that's it. But with that, the worms are done and we're ready to take them to the convention. Yes, all eight of us did fly cross country with worm suits. And Thursday night, we all wormed up and just had such a good time. And we're wormed. Do you look like a worm when I do this? Yes, you do! Oh my god. I'm laugh But what if our worms do this? <laughs> joy of running through a convention as a worm surrounded by your best friends also dressed as worms like truly this costume is my peak also a side note mad respect to all the furries out there i don't know how they do it i don't even know if worms count as a fursuit but after just a few hours in the suit we were toasting like it was warm i don't know how furries do it all day i think this is the cheapest fastest easiest costume that I've ever made. So if you're thinking of making one, just like do it, live your life, have fun, make a worm suit with your friends. It was so worth it. But that's all for this video. If you're new here, I do make nice projects. My next video is like 60 hours of me silk painting. Just sometimes you just gotta let the brain run free. 
and worm. But I'll be back soon with another project video. That's all for this one. Subscribe if you want to see more. I hope you're having a lovely day and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye! Like that's it. Fishing. No. Have you guys never seen a worm on a string before? It's a it's a worm on a string. And what, do you I mean, do? what does it do? And then you can like pull him along your hand. So what? Okay. You can make him do like cool little tricks. You don't get it at all. I've never seen it.